Hi and welcome back to the PhotographyCourse.net YouTube channel. In this video I want to talk to you a little bit about the new glossary of photography terms that we've come up with and is now on the PhotographyCourse.net website. If you've ever listened to a group of photographers talking, you might wonder sometimes if they're speaking a different language because of the vocabulary, because of the jargon that they're using when they talk ambient light and dynamic range and how their CMOS sensor captures this tone and fits into the zone system might have been part of what they were discussing. Their conversation may also have included terms like pixelization, parallax error and polarization and it's probably left you scratching your head thinking what on earth are they talking about? Are they speaking some foreign language that I don't know? Well, no, this is just the language of photography. It doesn't need to be super complex and a lot of the things can be described in plain English. And when I'm teaching and when I'm writing, I definitely make an effort to do this as much as possible so that it's easy for newcomers to understand and also easier for people with English as a second language to understand as well. I'm sure my accent is the first thing that many people have to listen hard to understand, let alone including lots of jargon and lots of photography specific language that would be even more confusing. So I try and edit that out as I'm speaking and as I'm writing as much as possible, just so that the learning experience is easier and more free flowing than if I was to use a lot of jargon. But having said that, it is good to know the language, it's good to learn the vocabulary, it's good to understand what these jargon photography terms are meaning and what they're referring to so that then you can have a more enjoyable photography experience because you've got a better understanding of what the teaching's about or what you're reading. As I mentioned, we've developed this photography term glossary that we've now published on photographycourse.net. You can use it as a resource to look up any terms that you may not understand fully and it will give you a basic explanation and quite often a link to other resources, other articles that were published that go deeper into those terms and what they mean so that you can get a real practical understanding of them. So be encouraged to browse through it, read it, understand it, pick up some new terms today, but also bookmark it for a future resource. So when you are studying, when you are learning or when you're just browsing a few articles, you're going to have a resource that you can jump to quickly to find out what these terms mean and that you'll have a better and deeper understanding and therefore a more enjoyable experience of your photography learning. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like this video and click the bell icon so you can stay up to date if you're new to our channel. And don't forget to share this with some friends that are into photography that might also find this photography terms glossary really useful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.